if you ever heard that term larger than life, he was larger than life. Jay was, and, and you cannot, even though Jay has passed, he'll never die, you know. There's not a day I don't think about Jay, and there's not a day that probably thousands of people think about him every day. And that's pretty gnarly to say that. After you're dead, thousands of people think about you every day. And to leave an impact like that is almost unobtainable for people. I worked in Santa Monica, California at Dave Sweet Surfboards for a number of years uh, with some remarkable individuals, including Kent Sherwood, who one day in about 1969 uh, brought his girlfriend to work and she had a child named Jay. He was probably about three or four at the time. He was on a skateboard. He rolled out into Olympic Boulevard, which had eight lines of traffic. And we all were kind of alarmed because it's a small kid and the street cars are going 40, 50 miles an hour. Jay was sitting laughing in the middle of the intersection. And that was my first interaction with Jay. I was standing out in front of my shop one day, talking to Jay, and he goes, watch this. <laughs> and uh, one of the city buses, the set, you know, the Santa Monica buses came by and he just, jumps off the curb, jams down the street, and grabs onto the back of the big blue bus. And I'm just going like, damn, <laughs> these guys gra he graduated from the little tram on the boardwalk to the city bus. And I was just going like, I couldn't believe it. There was a time we were uh, down at a contest by uh, the Big O Skate Park. And uh, we were in a hotel room and we had a couple of um, girls in the room with us. We were probably 17. And someone came knocking on the door and they were like, hey, 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 Jay Olson, you guys in there? And Jay was like, shh, 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 shh. And they're like, yo, we hear you. They're like, shh, 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 shh. And then all of a sudden they're like, it's your run, Jay, it's your run, you gotta get out of the room. He's like, shh, 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 shh. He's flamboyant, he was just uh, unpredictable. You can never predict Jay. You think you knew Jay and he, he would be the same way. No matter where he went, he was so unpredictable. That's what I loved about him. As much as he was really competitive and very, like, you know, aggressive, he was also having a really, really good time. And that is a really key factor in, you know, good progression with what you do. He's just, like, having, having fun. Jay boy, just to remind me that like Jay is the shit. Punks, thrash punks, Wazo. Gabe, you know, he was obviously a real good skater, but um, he was a very good surfer too. And um, whenever he surfed, and all eyes were on him, we watched him. He had just a, such a good style. He was really uh, loose on the board. He would, he would be dropping in, he would lay back into the whitewash and it would push him back up on the board. And, and Jay wanted to surf like, skate like Bertelman. And then, and then Bertelman was influenced by Jay, so it went back and forth, you know, to where, you know, he created that whole skateboard thrasher surfer style. He always skated, you know, with that, that uh, front side, that back side, you know, uh, turn and um, he could flow. That was really, really innovative. You see a lot of guys now, you know, that, can, that are surfers, are skaters or whatever, and you see a lot of skaters that, that surf and, and, and all that. But I think Jay, you gotta give it to him. He was probably one of the first ones. He just tried stuff. He didn't know what he was trying. You'd look at these photos and not know what he was doing or trying and it made the group of guys that were looking at him think things were possible that might not have been possible. And so, you know, distinctly remember photos of him snapping over the top of the lip where his board's hitting the deck, like a, a lip slide, but years before a lip slide. And uh, it was the beginning of thinking that, can you go over the deck and come back in? Obviously flyaways, just trying to get air, turns into hand plants. He actually flew out of the pool. And I got a photo of him just flying out of the pool, which people really didn't do yet then, you know. And 
you know, he was just kicking his board out. But for some reason, people thought in the picture that he was making it. Because, you know, it was just so ill-conceived. People had no idea what was going on. And, you know, they used it as a subscription ad in Skateboarder. I mean, Jay was all about having fun, you know. And, that was the, and that's just the essence of, of what skateboarding is and why we did it. We did it at a time when there was no money involved and there were no no pressures other than to just ride that board and be one with your own motion and, and, and the obstacles you were riding. At the end he represents kind of a lot of the lot of side of skateboarding that people want it to still be free, still be just spontaneous. There's the competitive side, there's also a professional side, but there's also that underlining it's just radical and go for it and enjoy it and um, I think he he really he stood for that for everybody just the ideas and stuff that he had and the things that he would do you know the unpredictability of his riding and the intensity of it made him probably, you know, most favorite person ever to shoot. Sometimes you didn't like shooting because it was too unpredictable. You couldn't even be in the right place at the right time to, you know, compose a shot. Because I'm a big composer, you know, I really like to have things look a certain way. But uh, yeah, he was quite a character. He's an incredible human being, I have to say. He evolved into a really, really good person. And he was a friend, and he was a brother, and he was a husband. He, he passed away as a happy person. You know, and that's probably one of the best feelings that being here now and talking about him that, that stays with me knowing that who he was when he passed away after knowing him basically his whole life. You know, that's, that, was, that was Jay and you know, we miss him, especially we're a couple days from his anniversary of passing. Um, yeah, we miss Jay. I didn't realize I would actually get emotional thinking about Jay, but the sound of that just makes me think of him. He was one of a kind. We'll really miss Jay Adams. And this is what he's left us, this beautiful skate park. And due to his skateboarding, we created these bowls and we get to skate like Jay skated and enjoy the skate park in his honor, in his name, our beloved friend Jay Adams. He's just legendary, you know, he's the one. We wouldn't even be here with, with, without Jay Adams. We wouldn't have this pool. We wouldn't be skating pools, you know. We wouldn't be grinding and, and surfing and just going for it with style and aggression, you know. That's what Jay Adams represents to me like style and power and super stoke and love for surfing and skateboarding. To this day when I do a frontside grind or if I'm skating the pool, if I'm just skating, cruising, he's part of it, you know what I mean? Anybody out there that's skateboarding and trying to do something crazy and having fun, that's Jay Adams. Right there, 100% Jay Adams. I'll see him in heaven again. That's it.